I was a member of 423 Communities before Jess was a member of 423 Sisters. And I think the biggest thing that I noticed uh, was just the way that she's able to respond to me if I have a slip. Uh, so recently I did have that slip um, and I knew that I needed to tell my wife, hey, I fell here. I wanted, I wanted to bring that to the light and I wanted to share that with her. Um, and I was a little nervous at first, but she had been in 423 Sisters now for about a month and a half. And um, I brought that to her and she responded to me with love. And I think it really took a lot of the shame and, and, and guilt away from it because I knew that I had a partner in this and I could tell her and I, I knew I wasn't gonna be shamed by her. So it was really amazing. By her having four, two, three sisters, it allowed her to be in a place to understand that slips are gonna happen. Um, nobody does recovery perfectly. Um, and that uh, she also had a place then to turn uh, to share her emotions because she did share with me that she was hurt and she was upset and she used the phrase that, you know, I, I took her peace of mind and that really, that hurt. She needed somewhere to turn and so I was really glad that I knew in a couple days she had four to three sisters, uh, the meeting to go to, but immediately she was able to reach out to other members of her group, call them, uh, text them and get that support. Um, same day. One of my favorite parts about Jad being in 423 Men is that he's able to form real relationships. Um, addiction is not just about acting out, but it's also about attachment. And so he's been able to build friendships and his relationship with me has been stronger. Um, we decided to have a child together and I'm really able to see that he is interacting with her and really present for her. And so I just see this whole different guy um, who's open and vulnerable with other people and able to share his experiences and emotions, honestly. I would encourage couples to uh, both get into a group, a, you know, a wife or a partner to get into a 423 sisters group and a guy to get into a 423 men's group. You have to do this together. Addiction in any form is not just uh, one partner's issue. It really affects the whole family unit. Uh, and that's the success story that Jess and I have shared, I think, is that we've both have been able to find healing independently, uh, which has been able to heal us uh, together. I think it's really helpful that both Jed and I have been in a group um, going through this together. And so I would encourage any couple to do this together because an addiction doesn't just affect the addict, it also affects everyone else in the household. I have needed to get my own help and have my own type of support for the trauma that has happened. Um, and it's just gonna be a vicious cycle if only one party is involved. I know that a lot of women might not want to know about what's going on with their husband, but I would really encourage them to um, talk to me or talk to another person in 423 Sisters because I think that it can be very informative and eye-opening and just another way to support your husband, but also to empower you in your own journey from recovery.